Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be my second booktube video. I'm going to be doing a TBR today. Um, I know I mentioned a couple in my first booktube video last week. So I'm going to talk about those today and then I'm going to go over the other three that I plan to read after. So I'm new to this whole this whole um, layout of doing stuff. So bear with me as I try to figure out what best layout and everything looks. Um, I hope you like the layout in the background with my twinkle lights because I love them and I'm obsessed with them. So, and those will probably be a staple in all my booktube videos because I love them. But enough about that because you all know I will ramble. So, Let's get into, oh, before I start, I also want to say that I will be leaving my Goodreads link in the description box below if you would like to check out what I'm reading and follow me on there um, and see like what I'm rating books and everything, you can feel free to follow me on there as well as my Instagram and my personal Tumblr will be down there as well. So getting that out of the way. So the books I'm reading at the moment are um, A Little in Love by Susan E. Fletcher and it's the story about Eponine from Les Mis, if anyone out there is familiar with it obviously, it's a popular musical. But this book is about her story and it is um, about her life and everything like that and it's really good so far. I'm probably about halfway done I'd say and it's really good. Um, it's more than likely going to be like a four and a half out of five for me. I like it a lot. And then the next, oh, oops, the next book that I'm reading is also The Starless Sea, which was in my last booktube video. I think I have that in the thumbnail. Um, this one by Erin Morgenstern. I have heard nothing but good things about this book and so far I love it. I'm not that far into it yet. I'm probably not even a third. But it's a pretty thick book, so it's probably going to take me a little while. But I love it a lot. It's really, really good. I'm loving her writing. It's very, um, if you're into stories about stories, you would definitely like this one. Uh, it's, it's, it's great so far. I'm loving it a lot. It's just an interesting story, so it's a fun one. And then, so the books that I plan to read, and then actually I'll start with this one. This one is Lily Reinhardt's poetry book, Swimming Lessons. I kind of want to like read some poems in between books. So I've been doing that, and those have been really good so far. I'm a huge fan of Lily Reinhardt. I'll probably talk about some of her stuff too on my channel, I think, once she starts like working outside Riverdale because I'm not a Riverdale fan anymore. Oops. Um, the show's just gotten weird. But anyway, anyway, that's besides the point. Um, I'll probably talk about some of her projects. If anyone's seen Look Both Ways on Netflix, anyone seen that yet, let me know in the comments. That was a really good movie. Um, I loved it. I'll probably be watching it a lot more. So maybe I could do like movie reviews too. Maybe, that could be fun. But this one definitely is really good if you like poetry books. I just really like it. I think it's it's simple, but it, I don't know. I feel like they're very relatable. So I like it a lot. Definitely would recommend. And then the next actual book that I want to read after my two is The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Has anybody seen a pattern? Look, I have been watching Clockwork Reader for a couple years now. And of course, as soon as she mentions like a book that she obsesses over, I have to buy it and read it and read it for myself. I mean, so far, I already know I'm going to like it because I love Erin Morgenstern's writing already. So I know I'm going to like it. Oh, yeah, that's my <laughs> makeshift uh, bookmark of Mickey Pin holder. I need to buy an actual bookmark, but it's fine for now. Um, but yeah, this one is really good so far. I stopped it so I could read um, Starless Sea first, but
but after I finish that one, I'm definitely starting this one because this whole story about stories is so interesting to me and it's so cool and I love it and I just, I, I want more stories based on stories, like I'm craving more of those. There's just something about them, I don't know. So the last book that I have for right now, I don't have a lot of books yet, I need to buy some more. Um, I am planning on buying Long Live the Pumpkin Queen soon. I mentioned that in my last video too um, because I love Nightmare Before Christmas so I definitely plan to buy that one um, as soon as I can and I will read that and add that to my TBR. But um, <clears throat> my last one that I have for right now that I plan to read is The Magpie Society, One for Sorrow. I have the second one. There's a second one here that is two for joy and these are Zoe Suggs one of her series her book series I'm a big fan of Zoe so I I bought her books girl on tour a few like quite a few years ago now and I read those and I liked them a lot when I was younger but um these have been really good so far I've barely started the first one but I like her writing already I already know that so I already know I'm gonna like the series too but, um, yeah, this is another one that I would recommend because I just love her work a lot. I love her videos. She's just, she's so incredible. So, those are the only books on my TBR so far. But, um, I also just wanted to take a second to say thank you to those that have subscribed and those that have commented on my other booktube videos so far. You guys are incredible. Um, I'm getting so many comments that are welcoming me into the community and that's so cool to see because I feel like a lot of times we just see everybody as a competition and see everybody as like, oh, how can we get more views and whatever. But to see people actually welcoming others to the community is so refreshing and I love it. And I don't regret joining BookTube. We'll just have to see how long this continues because um, I'm a little bit of a slow reader, so you might not get book reviews as quickly as other content creators put them out, but I know other people read like 50 books a year. I can't do that. I would never be able to do that. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see how fast I can get through some books, but I also get, I go through stages, I'll, I'll just say, I go through stages of when I want to read, when I don't want to read. So sometimes I'll be in a reading slump and I just don't want to read for months. And then sometimes I'll want to read like a few books at a time and just fly through them. So, I mean, we'll just have to see, it depends. It varies. So um, we will see how, how long, how quickly I get through some of these books that I have. Um, hopefully I'll get through them pretty quick because I really want to continue reading um, more of Aaron Morgenstern's books. So we'll see about that. Um, and if there's any booktube video ideas that you guys would like to see from me, if there's anything I'm missing that I haven't done, or since it's only been two videos, um, if there's anything that you guys want me to film or that you would want to see, please feel free to let me know in the comments and I will definitely look through those and see if there's anything I can do um, or just any video ideas in general so far as of right now I'm keeping the schedule Wednesday and Sunday so we will see how long that goes I'm not gonna make any promises because I don't want to end up um, not able to fulfill that and then feel bad about it so we'll see but as of right now that's the schedule I'm going for so I hope that you guys enjoyed my TBR. If there's any book recommendations you have based on what I've shown, please feel free to list those in the comments. I'm always open for book recommendations. And growing my, um, growing my books and everything, growing my library. So please do let me know if there's anything. And as always, I hope you have an amazing day, night, afternoon, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I hope you know that you're not alone. And I love you. And I'll see you guys next time.